Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, guys, I hope this video find, it, uh, find all doing well and in good spirits. And we are the same here. It's a little rainy. But guys, I'm going to get right on into the video telling you what I will be sharing with you guys. And then the first step that I'm going to take you to. Okay, today guys, I will be doing a subscriber request. And it is uh, Pinto Beans and Ham Hops. Okay. Let me tell you what um, what I'm going to start off telling you. Then I'm going to tell you the first process I'm going to do. Okay, guys. I have a 20-ounce bag of uh, pinto beans. And a um, it's probably a two-pound uh, pack of uh, ham hocks, which I probably might not use all of them. But when I get them, when I get, get them open and see what size it is and all that, I, you know, I might. I'm not sure. We'll see this process going on. The guys, the first step of this uh, video, which I will be doing with you, I mean, I'll be telling you about now, is the um, getting the beans prepared and getting the, uh, getting the beans prepared to uh, cook. First thing you're going to do is, you know, open the bag and spread your beans out however and pick through the beans and get any kind of rock of any kind of trash that may be in the beans you know get them out then I always put mine in a colander and rinse them well and then I put them in that white bowl that you see behind the gar uh, guys I put them in that white bowl and cover them with just regular tap water and then I soak them overnight I probably change that water after you know one time but it don't need you know you don't have to and um I just pour it, you know, I just pour it off and put some more water on it. But I, I normally, I always soak my beans overnight. And, um, guys, and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to prepare the ham hocks. What I'm going to do with those ham hocks is just rinse them well. And I kind of took you guys, the ones of you that have been with me a while, I took you through the process with my, did my fried collard greens, how I do my ham hocks when I'm cooking anything. I rinse those ham hocks real good. And then I will put them on and cover them in water and bring them to a boil and let them boil approximately five minutes. And then after that, I will just pour that water off, rinse the ham hocks again and put them in some fresh water and put the season to it or whatever if I'm just going to cook them. But um, since I'm going to put the beans in it, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. But when I come back on tomorrow to fix the beans, I already have the ham hocks prepared and ready to just go ahead on with the beans and then all the seasoning that I'm going to put in the beans guys I will show you tomorrow but uh I just came on to show you the uh, night before so I can have this video ready to go now guys now with the uh beans the pinto beans whatever type of bean that you find in your area or that you have used in the past by all means use it because this is not the brand that i normally use everything is kind of hard to find now i don't you know i don't know what's going on with that i'm not going to even speculate it but like i said i just get what i can and make it do what and make it do what it can do what it can so i got these and it got a little ham pack and I have had this uh, kind of four years ago. And you know, you can cook it with the ham pack, the little ham uh, flavoring or seasoning that's in it. It's good too. But I'll show you how I'm going to season mine tomorrow, guys. Because they are absolutely delicious that way. So, okay, guys, I'll see you back tomorrow with this video. We'll already be in process. The uh, beans will be soaked overnight, and the ham hocks will be. Done pre, I do that pre boil or pre washing or whatever you want to call it, and be ready for the beans and the seasoning go in. Okay, guys, I'll see you back in. I'll see you back in. The, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back, and as you can see, the pinto beans has been uh, has soaked overnight, and they have swelled. This is a whole bag of the pinto beans, and they having you know swelled up or whatever. I'm I don't know what they're doing, but uh, you know, we just all just soak them overnight. That's the only way I have fixed, I ever pack prepared them, guys. You know, soaking them overnight. And uh, these are the ham hocks. I got three ham hocks in here. Come across up there. I don't know if you can see down in there, but I have been letting these ham hocks cook 
just in some water simmering kind of low for about um about an hour i always uh do those type of ham hocks when it's those type of ham hocks i always let them cook an hour before i put my beans in because once you soak these beans normally it'll take maybe about two two to two and a half hours to cook sometime maybe not that long so guys all i'm going to do is get ready to season season the beans and i'm going to go ahead and turn my stove up because i'm going to let them come back to a boil and then turn them back down on the simmer but guys uh first thing i'm going to do is go ahead on and put my beans in the pot i may have to change pots on you guys because uh, this is this is the pot I normally cook me in. I like cooking them in because I normally don't cook a half a but a half a bag at a time. And uh, I'm cooking a whole bag, so uh, I may have to turn the stove up. Then I'm just gonna go in right in with my seasoning, guys. My seasoning right here. This is a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. That is what I'm gonna start out with, simply because. Uh, in about an hour or so, I'm going to come back in and taste the, um, the beans, taste them for uh, uh, taste them for to see what I need to put in the most seasoning and see how tender they are getting to let me know just about how much longer they're going to cook. Okay guys, and this is a teaspoon and a half of just white granulated sugar. Now all of this, now you can, you don't have to put this in because to me, pinto beans about cook, cook itself. You put just some salt and pepper in it and a little uh, bacon dripping. And you don't even have to have any meat and they'll still be good. Okay guys, this is some bacon dripping and I'm going to put uh, just one tablespoon of this in it. Because then you know the other. Uh, Ham hocks have some uh, like uh, grease or something coming from them that help with the flavor and all of that. And guys, this is uh, about three uh, cloves of fresh garlic. Now you can put uh, just regular granulated garlic or something like that in it, but I always have put I like to put fresh garlic in my pinto beans. And that's one rule I do when I'm doing it. But like I say, you can put the other in it. And then this is one onion. Just one regular Spanish onion. And you won't believe how this and stuff enhance these beans to be absolutely delicious. And guys, this is some uh, vegetable seasoning that I've started putting in mine. You don't have to put this. This is kind of optional, but it's absolutely delicious. And I'm just going to put uh, just a teaspoon of this. It has no salt in it, but I tell you that flavor that it's going to give it, it's going to enhance these beans. So they're going to just really be, you know, delicious. Okay guys, that's all the seasoning that I'm going to put in them now. I'm starting out with. And then like I say, I thought I let these beans cook simmer for maybe about a an hour better. I'm gonna come in and taste them and see how close to done they is. And then um I will uh add whatever other seasoning that I need. You season these beans according to your taste. You don't want it, you know, just make sure you have a, enough salt and not too much salt. Now, like I said, I'm going to let it come back to a boil. And when it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn the, uh, I'm going to turn the, uh, burner down to like a, just a low simmer. And that's the way I'm going to let them cook. I think that's what made these, uh, pinto beans so good that you kind of just, uh, let them cook at like a low simmer, low simmer. And that just just infuse them with just the flavor and stuff just be over the top and uh it's no big thing to do put pinto beans you just don't want to cook them too fast and you don't want to get them too done and get them too much other than that 
you keep that pop that look of the liquor part on it you keep it to wherever you like it just to have pulled with some rice uh just put you some cornbread in it and whatever you don't you know some people may like they uh the liquor thick i never i'm not that one but uh i'll show you when i come back these beans gonna be finished and i'll show you the uh consistency of the liver of the liquid and the ham hocks and all so guys that's all to it very simple easy to cook a delicious pot of pinto beans you can't go wrong and i'll be back when the beans are finished okay guys this is the finished product of the uh pinto beans i wish you could uh the pinto beans and beans and ham hock. I wish you could smell the aroma in the house. It just brings back so many old time memory. Excuse me, Tucker, I'm gonna reach over here and get a. Where's my big spoon at? Uh, you see my spoon over there? Excuse me, guys. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> okay, guys, and uh, to the uh, ones that. Uh, asked me to do this video. The subscribers wanted me to do the video with the ham hocks. Uh, this is it. This is the way I do it. And you can add or eliminate something that you don't like in there, but you wanted me to do my way. And this is the way I do it. And listen, guys, for anyone else that's watching this video that do not want to put the ham hocks, maybe some salt poke or nothing at all in there, you still follow these same procedures. And guys, your beans will really work out well for you if you uh, you know, cook them like I cook them slow in in the pot and with the ham hock. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is just sure it serve you up some and let you see what the texture of stuff look like. And I got one more thing I want to say to you guys. Now everybody that eat uh, pinto beans, they know they're good, but this is what I use. I take me a couple of these before I, you know, start on the pinto beans and they don't give me any problems. You got it, Tuck? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, when I was younger coming up, I don't remember beans being such a problem, but now, you know, everything's different. So, let me let you see what the beans, is I got the bowl hole right? Yes, go ahead. What the beans look like. This is the texture, guys. And this is me, not the texture, the consistency that I like. But you can pour this over, use some rice, or uh, either. Uh, and these ham, these ham hocks are all good and tender. And guys, I end up cooking these uh, uh, two hours, simply because you know I had already kind of started the uh, ham hocks out some. And uh, let me show, let me put you a big ham hock up here. Let me give you one of these ham hocks for the ones that like ham hocks. Oh, wait a minute. I'm trying to stick. For the ones of you that like ham hocks. Now, when I do my uh, beans with ham hock, I do some rice and cornbread, and that's my meal. But you know with pinto beans, you can just serve them as a side of anything. And guys, that's it. You can see the, uh, the look. Don't, don't get your beans and stuff too thick because you can just continue to eat off these beans so uh, until they go so okay guys uh, appreciate you coming in watching my video and uh remember what i always say to you guys now let me say this version i'm always getting it mixed up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already uh i hope you do so give me a thumbs up if you like this uh uh video and leave me a comment down below and tell me what you like to eat your pinto beans with and how you like the uh the bean liquor to be the liquor to be on it because i can just take this in liquor guys this is a meal for me right there with the liquor <laughs> get me a cup of that and drink it i love pinto beans i always have pinto navy bean northern beans and all that stuff that's my jush as some young people can say so okay guys like i say Share out my video, leave me that comment, and um, remember to uh, think positive, use your common sense, and they may love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye, you guys.